Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my hair loss journey. So I had COVID back in December, around December, and I did not notice hair loss until about like three months later. That's when I had like dramatic hair loss. Right now you're probably like, oh yeah, like you have so much hair, like it, my hair has grown back. I did not even want to make this video whenever I noticed that my hair was falling out, but I also have noticed that my hair has changed dramatically, like the texture of it. It's gotten very thin, it's been getting, it's like very tangled no matter how many haircuts I get, how many trims I get. Normally, before when I used to get trims, it would solve the, the issue on it being very tangly. What is telogen effluvium? So I am going to link a video down below that explains it much better than I am going to explain it, but to dumb it down a little bit, to make it a little easier to understand. It can be caused by like any surgery, anything like major going on in your life, and like a sickness, something that like stressed you out a lot. It can happen from any of those things. And for me personally, it was COVID. I noticed that after three months, um, around like 75, 80, I would say maybe like 50 percent of my hair fell out but for most people who have experienced telogen effluvium they've experienced around 75 to like 80 percent of their hair gone so i got pretty lucky um i did have so 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 much hair like before this i will insert photos of like before and after I had a lot of hair. My hair was super, super thick. It was never tangly and it it changed dramatically after this. And I, like I started looking up all my symptoms whenever I first noticed, like I would literally go like this on my back. Like I would just be walking and I would be like, and like so much hair would come out. And now I only have like a few strands coming out every once in a while, which is pretty normal for me because that's like, how much it used to fall out before but before i would like literally have like 10 million strands hanging from the back and i would pull them out and they would all come out at once that was really really hard for me to see um but yeah so basically before the three month period your hair follicle is already dead so there's nothing you can really do about it to stop the shedding personally i did not know what was going on so I bought like a million things to try and get my hair to stop falling out but what I didn't know is that my hair follicle was already dead and it was already going to shed three months later anyway. So I'm going to show you guys a few things that I have bought to get my hair back growing and right now as you can see um I'll insert photos. I've always had like kind of like this little area right here where I didn't have hair but whenever I noticed that my hair was falling out dramatically I noticed that that spot was like bald bald so I'm gonna insert photos but this is basically um okay so we are at May now I still experience a little bit of hair loss but not as much as how much it was before so this is what my hair looks like right now mm. It's like whenever I run my fingers through it, I used to be able to literally see like my scalp and now, like I said, like these little areas right here always had kind of like a little bald spot, but now I'm like you can't really see many bald spots anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of the things that I use and I'm going to also link them down below so you guys can purchase them. Again, if your hair is falling out like dramatically already, it's not like none of these things are going to make it stop from shedding because all that hair that's dead is already going to fall out. 
again watch the video that i'm gonna link down below because it's going to really explain it better i feel like i'm horrible at explaining things so that video will really clear everything up for you and i promise it might be a little bit boring but if you're willing to figure out what's wrong with you you will watch it as for vitamins these are the vitamins that i take um so this one is specifically for bone but my mom told me to start taking this and honestly it has worked really good for my hair i don't know what it is but for some reason this has made my hair like get thicker i don't know what it has to do but i noticed that ever since i started taking it my hair was getting thicker this is another thing that i started using sea moss sea moss is really good for you either way so it helps support collagen and all that so and then as for hair products i started using this line which i found at target i tried to look for it at walmart and it was not at walmart but so i got this one the sea moss shampoo and it's an anti-shedding shampoo and again this is like after all my shedding has like slowed down and i also started using their leave-in conditioner and their conditioner but i don't have that here with me also bought these two oils from amazon almond oil and rosemary oil rosemary oil is going to be your best friend if you want to have your thick hair back you want to make sure that you mix this with another major oil like almond oil or even coconut oil because if you use it by itself it can irritate your scalp so you definitely don't want to use that by itself i also completely cut out olaplex because at one point i thought it was olaplex that was making my hair fall out i remember my friend told me that if i use too much protein in my hair it would make my hair fall out so i was like okay maybe i should stop using olaplex so i completely cut it out and i did notice my hair was getting thicker and this is what i was using so i don't know if it was olaplex that was also making my hair like break or whatever but this is what i would use and i would also use the oil this is the bond strength or the bond smoother i stopped using that I started using a wet brush whenever I got out of the shower. Um, I normally used like a regular paddle brush, but my hair was falling out so much that some days I did not even want to brush it. And it was like so upsetting to look at all the hair coming out of the brush and just like all the hair in the shower. I'll insert some photos of that as well if I haven't already. But it was just so like, I don't know, like, I had no confidence whenever my hair was falling out at that stage. I mean, I'm so glad that my hair is starting to grow back and yes, your hair will grow back. Don't think that you're stuck in this like shedding phase forever because it's not. I did see a lot of places, like a lot of sources say that it would probably take six to eight months for your hair to be like normal again like naturally thick how it was before so it is going to take some time but just know that it's going to grow back and for anyone out there that's going through this i just want to say i am so sorry trust me i've been there and there are so many other people that are going through this and just don't talk about it so i just want to say i'm so sorry that you're going through this you're not alone so those are basically all the items that i use now i've experimented with a lot of different things and those are just the products that i seem to have seen working since day one since i started using them so if you're gonna buy anything from the video buy those six things try them out if you see that they're not working for you then just quit obviously but it doesn't hurt to give it a try so this is my hair before or like now this would be my ponytail now and my hair is pretty thick so of course my ponytail is gonna look a little bit thick but when my hair is straight it looks like i literally have no hair so i'm gonna turn around and i'm gonna show you from the back what my hair looks like and what it used to look like so this is what it looks like now that i'm like recovering from telogen effluvium let me show you I feel like you can like see my head shape more now like it might also be because i split my hair in the middle and whenever i had like super thick voluminous hair i would like flip it over like i'm gonna do it like this 
so I definitely had a lot more volume before than I do now. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm sorry that you guys are going through this, but just know that you're not alone. Recovery will come soon. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.